My name is Casey Clark. I'm the head driver for Team Bullet for this year's Bull Run. This is my 2001 Ford Mustang GT Bullet Edition. This is a replica build of the 1968 390 GT driven by Steve McQueen in the movie Bullet. As you can see, uh, it has been completely restored from the vandalism. $10,000 and a lot of work later, she's more beautiful than she ever was before. We found a tremendous body man. I've finally chosen a co-driver. I've chosen my stepfather, David Hall. Hello there. I'm glad you could make it. So just, you know, as usual, you're just a little bit behind me, huh? Uh, well. <laughs> I'm just glad to see that old green beach made it up the hill. <laughs> yeah, the old girl made it again. I got, you know, how do you get your wheelchair in that thing? <laughs> it fits in the trunk, believe it or not. Yeah, that's as long good. as I keep the top down. That's good. You know, for the bull run, I was trying to figure out how to get a hammock in the back of this so that you don't miss Thank your you. afternoon nap. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself and your car? Well, Chase probably told you I'm his father. I'm, my name is David Hall. Uh, I live in Phoenix, as Casey does, and I have a small consulting firm that uh, we do civil engineering. And the reason uh, Casey gracefully picked me to be uh, his co-driver is... I'm an engineer and surveyor by profession, so I'm a map reader. And we felt that that particular scale would be very handy since GPS devices and all sorts of this electronic mumbo jumbo they use now. The stuff I'm used to. The stuff he's used to is uh, not legal. Um, so you're used to using I, a compass and a map, huh? I'm used to using a compass and a map. Didn't they do that, you know, back in the pioneer days? Pioneer days, we measured things with the tape. We did all these things. So did so did Carol Shelby ever make a covered wagon? No, Carol never made a covered wagon. You know, because you know my car was inspired by Steve McQueen. Yours was by some dude named Carol. I used to date a girl named Carol. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, the Carol Shelby that I have known, it doesn't look anything like Carol you're talking about. I, I would hope not. I would hope not too. Would She'd hope be not. one uh, funny-looking woman. Like, like I said, David's car is almost as fast as mine, but I have a little bit of a weight advantage. You know that uh, even though he's got a few more ponies than I do, uh, you know, he thinks that he thinks that his car's faster than this. But he's found out numerous times that on the straightaways, um, what he sees is those tail lights just gliding off into the sunset. See, I think David knows how to spell bullet really well now because he's used to seeing that badge under my left tail light. Now, as you can probably see from the badging, this is a Shelby GT. This is one of 100 cars, especially designed and built by Shelby for the Barrett-Jackson uh, auto auction name. Of the 100 that were built, 50 of them are convertibles. So I have one of 4,000, you've got one of 50. I've got one of 50. So uh, we do like rare cars, and we both share a passion for Mustangs. Uh, we've been pretty competitive over the years, trying to stay ahead of one another. Now, I've, had, I've had different types of cars that were muscle cars. I've had Plymouths, I've had Pontiacs. We've both settled on Mustangs for probably the last 10 years because they are the premier in the American muscle car right now. Well, you know, you've driven what I consider to be the holy grail, though. You actually got to drive a, uh, a real Cobra. Yes, I you... got to drive a real Cobra a few years ago. And, uh, and that was in Phoenix, correct? That was in Phoenix on I-17. And I'm just glad that there weren't any state troopers at that time because no one in their right mind should be doing 170 miles an hour on I-17 at 8.30 in the evening. But we both do 140 pretty regularly. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> One of the beauties of both of these cars is they will both, they'll hang at 145 all day long without getting warm. Uh, they, they breathe real easy and uh, still get 20 miles to the gallon when you're doing it. So we've still got a decent range even when we're riding them hard. They're a very durable vehicle and, and just a good compromise. I can still get three of my four children in here when I go and so can Grandpa. We can both get three car seats in each one of our cars. Hey, you can't fit adults in the back seat, but you can fit plenty of car seats. And that was one of the requirements and requisites for my wife, because she demanded that I have a car that would carry grandchildren. So we compromised, and here's what I have. Well, I don't uh, know that it's a compromise. That's a pretty hot car. Well, it's a very hot car. It's uh, skunk you. <laughs> yeah, in yes. your dreams. Yeah. In your dreams. Yeah, what's that? Well, okay. I, I, I think that's. Well, we'll, well, we'll finish this up and we'll go do it one more time. I think that's you bullet know. contrails. Then you're going to have to buy lunch. All right, all right. I'll race you for lunch. Okay. I want a steak. 
You want a steak? Yeah, you're gonna go hungry, boy. <laughs> well, that's just because you gotta catch me to feed me. So, given this, you can see we have this passion for Mustangs. We have a passion for American muscle cars. He and I have both built engines. We've both put cars together. Uh, we've both driven performance, uh, been through Bondurat. We've, uh, we really like detailing, and we do that together quite a bit in his garage and mine. They're both set up pretty much as a detail shop to the chagrin of our wives. And it's a, it's a hobby for us, and it gives us time, a lot of time to spend together. And we also know that look from our, the rolling of the eyes by the wives. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we, we definitely. know that look well. So they, they indulge us this particular passion of ours. We, uh, we think that you'll enjoy watching us on this show. We, uh, we don't always agree, but we always enjoy the debate, do we not? That's correct. And uh, have a lot of good conversation. So since we can't play the radio, that and, uh, you know, you have a fairly nice singing voice. That's true. We might sing for you and, since uh, we can't play on the radio. Absolutely. Well, we're used to singing to my kids, so. And if the color green doesn't appeal to you, we've got a black I'm one. I'm sure a black one with an orange stripe would be able to fill in. Yeah, but I, I think they want the classic style. Uh, Spirit of Steve McQueen, your car doesn't have a song written about it. That's true. That's true. Shoot, Other you know, than the one I sing to it. Well, that's true. Well, you know, the yeah. lullaby where you rub it with a diaper. The rub it with a diaper. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, Cheryl Crow wrote a song about my car. Well, I can't say the same. Yeah, see? So, see, so you got to pick my car because, uh, you know, Cheryl Crow's pretty hot. Well, we'll take that. We'll take this one, you know, in case it, you know, breaks down. Huh? Well, okay. I doubt that it will. Oh. No, I, uh, we, uh, we're both pretty meticulous about maintenance. Mine's never seen anything but Mobile One Synthetic. How about yours? Same thing, Mobile One. In all the crankcase and the transmission and everything. All the same. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we don't like them to break, but we do like rubbing them with a the diaper. It's a lot more fun to wax them than to fix them. The family that changes oil together stays together. That's right. Is that our future motto for uh, oil changes? Absolutely. Well, if I could get my wife to abide by that. Yes. We're tired of racing each other. We want to race somebody else for a change. Bullet! Bullet. <laughs>